All right, today I want to show how to solder a loop closed on a chain. I've got a chain and I've put the ends on and the first thing I want to do is I've twisted my own wire so that I, I cut my own loops and instead of using like cutters to cut them because it doesn't give you a flush end, what I do is just take my saw and actually cut the individual loops with my saw. I'm using a, a four inch saw frame and a three aught blade. And what that does is it makes sure that the individual links have flush ends so that they make good contact so it's a good solder joint. The next thing I'll do is I'll assemble the ends and I'll use my pliers to put the ends together and make sure that the the joints are nice and flush. And then I'll take them and dip the pieces in a mixture of denatured alcohol and boric acid. I will let them air dry instead of um, burning off the alcohol just because that works better. The next thing I will do is I will hold the loop with the open end in the air pointing up. And then I will add just a little bit of handy flux just on the solder joint. I don't need to flux the whole piece, just the solder joint. And I'll use just a very small flame. Don't need a very hot flame, just a small flame. I'll take my soldering pick and I'm just going to touch it into my flux so that the flux is just a little bit on the tip. And I'm going to pick up a very small piece of solder. Don't need very much, just a little bit. I'm going to heat up the loop add the solder to the loop and that's all there is. I will pickle the chain, clean it up, and it's good to go.